this is going to be a super quick video and hopefully it saves anybody who's watching this um, a headache because it, this issue that I had gave me a huge headache. All right, so I was trying to install Windows 10 on a portable USB, uh, just regular USB 3.0, not a solid state drive or anything like that. My issue was after the successful install of Windows 10, I did not have any audio drivers installed. It kept telling me that there was no audio device connected or installed, so obviously I wasn't going to have any uh, drivers that I successfully installed to have my audio for my speakers to work. So, uh, just to you know, let you guys know, this is a MacBook Air model 1466 EMC 2559, and I'm running on Catalina 1015.6. All right, so you can see my USB right here. And this is my USB uh, storage. It's 128 gig, but obviously it only sees you know so much of the gigabytes. Um, and the tutorial you guys can find, you can find a bunch of them on YouTube. But I highly recommend you guys watch the one from Nine to Five Mac. His tutorials are always on point, and um, I actually already have it pulled up. This is where I messed up, and it works for him on his MacBook Pro, and it works on a whole bunch of other machines. But on this MacBook Air, it was giving me uh, the issue where I didn't have any audio um, on my device after the Windows 10 install. So in this tutorial, I'm not gonna play it, but I can point it out right here. He tells you to click on the scheme for GPT, all right? I did that and it failed. Um, I spent hours trying to install different drivers, it did not work. And finally, after a couple of days, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and change the scheme to master boot record for BIOS. And I did that, and then I uh, clicked, you know, I fi finished the tutorial. You can finish this tutorial here, and it's going to show you the exact same thing step by step on what you have to do. Once that was actually complete, I uh, rebooted the system. He also tells you at the minute mark, uh, 12, 15 minute mark, he'll tell you to change some settings, okay? On this MacBook Air, I did not have to do that. Um, as soon as you reboot, just hold down your option key, and then you can actually boot from your uh, USB once you actually follow his tutorial and finish installing the Windows 10 onto the flash drive or whatever portable device you're trying to use. So once you reboot, hold down the option key and you'll be able to uh, follow the instructions on how to finish out your installation for Windows 10. I'm gonna switch over to my phone just so you guys can see that I do indeed have uh, Windows 10 installed on here um, on my portable device as you can see right here, which is pretty cool because if I click on here, you can actually go into the user and then kind of go browse through other stuff. There's nothing here because I already finished the install. I deleted all the files that I was using for software and stuff like that that I installed on the other side. But this is this part and I will go over to the other part here in a second. Okay guys, so you can see I have booted into my Windows 10 partition here. I got the device manager expanded so you guys can kind of see. And here are my sound drivers. This is exactly the ones that are in the boot camp. So once you uh, follow that video, he shows you how to get all the drivers for the uh, for the audio and all that stuff through boot camp. Just follow his tutorial all the way. And just for the sake of the video, I'll go ahead and play some sounds so you guys can hear. And that's the most uh, important thing that I was worried about when I wasn't able to get my sound to work. So let me see Windows 10. You guys can see Windows 10 here. I'll exit that out, my device manager. This is the PC side of the USB flash drive that I was showing you guys earlier. So pretty much everything just like a regular PC, just on a portable device. Again, it's the SanDisk right here. And that's pretty much it, man. Um, if you guys have any issues, any questions, feel free to drop a comment or do what you guys want to do. You can contact me on Instagram as always as well. Um, I like it when people contact me on Instagram just because if you're having an issue, you can send me a video and I can see exactly what's going on in your screen. Uh, shoot me a follow on there first and then send me a message nine times out of ten when someone follows me I always check my messages for that specific person uh, Versus everybody else who's responding and you know to my stuff that I'll be posting on there, but yeah, everything's working uh, Big shout out to uh, nine to five Mac follow his tutorials and subscribe to him and myself and uh, we'll see you on the next video